Hallelujah. Blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother and sister, uh, may the Lord keep blessing you. May the Lord keep blessing you. I am your brother in Christ. Do Dr. Christian Fokam, your prayer partner. Hallelujah. Your prayer partner. Your prayer partner of all the time. May the Lord keep blessing you. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that call upon me and then in the day of trouble I will answer you. We are here to call upon the Lord because of the trouble that you may experience as well as me. And the topic where uh, we are calling the Lord is the, is the prayer against the graveyard which crash. The witchcraft that is practiced from graveyard. The witchcraft that is practiced from graveyard to harm many people, many children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord keep blessing. And, the, and again, I am from John 832 Ministry. Uh -huh. the, our topic that I want to take a few, a few minutes to explain the graveyard which crash the, how to fight against the spirit of the grave hallelujah mm -hmm. before you move into prayer um, you have to prepare yourself to pray very well because this topic is a topic that uh, almost <coughs> many of us experience it and we don't know how, how to handle this situation and you don't know how, how, how what how it happened amen the bible say in genesis chapter 2 verse 16 verse, verse 16 to 17 he said the lord god commanded him you may eat the fruit from any tree in the garden but you must not eat the fruit from the tree which give the knowledge of god of good and evil if you ever eat fruit from that tree, you will die. <clears throat> so this is the commandment that the Lord gave to Adam in the Garden of Eden. Adam ate the fruit. And the Bible said that as, as long as you eat the fruit, as, we, as well with Eve, the Bible uh, 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 declared that Adam was dead. Adam experienced death after eating the fruit from the from the from the, the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and and, and bad. So the the, the 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 heaven acknowledge declare that Adam was dead, even though the reality, the physical Adam, was moving up and down and he stayed on the earth 930 years. <coughs> this means, my brother, my sister, that it can be possible some, to, for someone of being declared by the heaven as dead, but that person is still moving around. Moving around. So this means that may as many around many around you and I I are just cops moving about on our street. Some <coughs> when you hear that somebody is dead, physically it is dead, and people cry for the dead. Most of them they don't even know that that person has died 
many years back. And that today is just the cops that fall on the street. So the, the question is, death, what does it mean to die? The, the Bible considered the word death as <clears throat> when you say die, that means to, is to, to, not to function anymore, not to be available anymore. So the relationship with the law is cut off. So the person has lost, has the, the Wi-Fi is no more. This is what the word death means in the spirit area. So, and the Bible is spiritual. So when sometimes you, you say die, it doesn't mean that one of your brother physically have to die. But when you die is that the power that is, that is behind a situation that is responsible for for a wicked situation. Ungodly situation need to stop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm gonna go now and and give and give to you some example of moving of cop of cops moving around the street. Some people who are dead, even though you see all, all of them around you. For example, one the uh, I, I can talk about uh, if you read Proverb chapter two verses sixteen to to nineteen. Proverb two sixteen to nineteen said, "It will save you from the unfaithful wife who try to lead you into adultery with pleasing words. She leave the husband she married when she was young." She ignored the promise she made before God. Her house is on the way to death. Those who took that path are now all dead. No one who goes to her come back or walk the path of life again. So look at Proverbs chapter 2, verses 16 to 19. It says clearly that a any married man or woman who have girlfriend or boyfriend or non-married man non-married woman who have boyfriend or girlfriend are dead according to the heaven according to the law because getting into sexual into sexual intercourse is only after you get married, according to Genesis chapter 2, according to Genesis chapter 2, men will leave, men will leave his father and mother and cleave to his, his wife and they will become, become one flesh. And the next verse will say that they were naked and they were not ashamed. So, the the, the 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 intercourse is only for married people those who are not married legally in front of the law and they go through that the heaven recognize them that them like uh, as dead so if you are married woman married man you have boyfriend or girlfriend the the heaven consider you as a dead you will be a a pastor you will be a reverend Maybe you are a senior pastor of one association or another. My brother, my sister, if you live in, in sin, whether you are married, whether or not, whether you are, you, you, you are pastor, senior pastor, whatsoever, the heaven, the Lord, recognize you as a dead person. As far as, a, as the word of God is concerned. Mm -hmm. These are the moving cops. So anyone who have a girlfriend, boyfriend, remember that the Bible called them these are the dead people. So if one day he fall again and the body, the body is dead, so remember that the person have was died long time ago. Even though he go to work and so forth, and he even get married later. So the second, I can talk to you 
in Proverbs chapter 7, verse 25, in Proverbs chapter 7, verse 25, you're going to see again, it's, it's written, don't let yourself be tricked by such a woman. Don't go where she did you. So the Bible say here that any who, it, it, don't let yourself be tricked by anyone who is dead. Who is taking you to the to the road that will be will that will disconnect you from the heaven at this point when you are when you lose the Wi-Fi when you are not with the Lord anymore the the, the heaven will recognize you as a as a dead. In the Proverbs chapter two verses sixteen to nineteen, the Bible say in verses eighteen it say her house is on the way to death. So these verses, Proverbs chapter 2, verses 18, tell you that a marriage can die. That means the marriage is there. Maybe 30 years of marriage, 40 years of marriage, 16 years of marriage. But in front of the door, is that marriage doesn't exist any, anymore. Those who, who take part of, to go through the, the way of the dark kingdom, and when even though they are married, that their marriage die at the same way when they start the fornication. So when you are married and you have girlfriend, the heaven recognizes your your marriage that is dead long term. And this is why the dark kingdom is always attract those who are married, so that when they go get get them now, their marriage is recognized in the heaven as a dead marriage. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 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 also, if you look in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19, he, there's a word that says, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19, it says, And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirit, and unto visa that people, and that mother, should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? So, this scripture say again that those who have familiar spirit, the witches, the wizard, those who go to some churches and pray so that the grandparent who was dead long term have to lay in peace. This is what the Bible said that you should not seek on seek unto their uh, 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 you should not seek the dead. You should not seek the living. To death. Hallelujah. So those who, are, who have familiar spirit, those witches and wizards around you, around me, the Bible considers them like a death. If you pray the prayer to appease those of your, of your grandparents who are dead long time, that means you are asking them, you are communicating with the dead. And when you come in with the dead, the Bible let me put you in the range of dead people. I pray that the power that would push you to the gate of death will the power that is that want to push you to the grave should die in the name of Jesus. If many people also, as you look at Isaiah chapter 59, verses 10, Isaiah 59, verses 10 is telling you to us over there that many people would live a disordered life, a scattered life, are also dead. He said over there that we are like the blind feeling our, our way along a wall. We feel our way as if we had no eyes. In the brightness of day, we trip as if it were night. We are like a dead man among the strong. So, mean the Bible talk about anyone that is blind. Spiritual blindness is death. So, the Lord recognizes anyone that is blind in the theory that don't see, that don't hear the voice as a dead person. Dead, dead person. He say here, we are like the blind feeling our way along a wall we feel our way as if we had no eye 
in the brightness of day we trip as if it were night so when the law is there you don't know if, if you are in the presence of the law you don't know if you are in the you are in the dark kingdom because many the the the, the devil have closed the eye closed the ear closed the heart a heart and those people who are appointed to the grave are consider also already that are dead people so even sometimes you can feel yourself in the in in the dream you dream and you see somebody asleep or if you see yourself sleep sleeping or if you see somebody sleeping the bible say in ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 that and everything that is made easy to see can become light this is why it is said wake up sleeper rise from death and Christ will shine on you so the anyone that you see sleeping in the dream in the dream in the spirit realm, then it means that those people those their spiritual monitor is dead they do not dream anymore they don't see vision so many don't dream or they dream they, they, they don't they, 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 they don't remember or their dream is just dream vanity the truth is that the bible according to ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 say that they are dead this is why the in this version ephesians chapter 5 14 is say wake up sleeper in the name of jesus please sister my brother if this is your case lay your right hand on your head and say that this are wake up call your name now wake up for come christian in the name of jesus wake up for come christian in the name of jesus wake up great for come christian in the name of jesus in jesus name i pray amen the second part of that verse ephesians chapter 5 14 is say rise from death and christ will shine on you so the rise from death that means anyone who don't who don't dream any wonder we don't have vision the truth is that they are live, they are living in the grave and they are among the dead they don't know light they don't know jesus even though they are walking around the street they go to work they are get, they are they are married they have three children four children five children six children they have an company whatsoever whatsoever you can call the truth is that the heaven no acknowledge them and, and declare uh, 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 allowed that they are dead and they live among the dead this is why it's written in ephesians chapter 5 14 it says rise from dead and christ will shine on you my brother my sister lay your right hand on your head and cry like this sir. for come christian call your name for come christian rise from dead in the observer, rise from data. In the observer, rise from data. In the observer, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Go ahead, lay your right hand again on your head and say, Let the blood of let the power of the of, of the cross, let the power of the cross. Shine on me now in any object. Let the power of the cross shine on me now in any object. Let the power of the cross shine on me now in any object. Let the power of the cross shine on me now in any object. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. The Bible says also that there are too many people. According to First Timothy chapter 5, verse 6, it says, But she she that live in pleasure is dead while she lives. So this verse of 1 Timothy 5, 6 say that those who live in pleasure, good things, they have money, they buy very high things. They can have their money, buy a car of $300, $300,000. But again, when you look, the $300,000 is just because it's the speed of, 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 of pleasure. That's all. It's not that it's a necessity on them, no. But they are, they are li they live in pleasure. Brother and sister, the heaven recognize, they recognize those people, brother and sister, as a dead people. These are the moving corpse. 
So those who live in pleasure, as I said, they live, they are dead. This is why he say over there that First Timothy chapter five verse six he say, but she that live in pleasure is dead. Why she live? Even though she leaves, she go to work, she have children, she have five children, three children, three children, she have job or whatsoever, but the heaven recognize them like a dead. And and they just just they just need now the, the, the Lord to intervene. Hallelujah. Those who go into the according to James chapter 2, verse 26, he said, For as the body without the spirit is dead. So faith without works is dead also. So it means that all witches wizards who leave their body on, on the bed and move in the spirit room to go and, and cause havoc in two minutes, separate their spirit from their body. These are dead people. Mm -hmm. So, and also the Bible they talk about those who hate God too much. Those who hate God and anything that God like God 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 want. According to Proverbs 8, chapter 36, he said that those who do not find me hurt themselves. Those who hate me love, love death. So anyone who love who hate the law, they hate even consider them as a death. So don't be surprised that when when the heaven consider anyone who hate the law, if you have a dream and you see yourself in the grave on the corpse, don't be surprised. It, 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 it's just because you hate, hate the law too much and now you're all gibbery. And also, those who are who like to do evil, who are so wicked. According to Proverbs 11, 19, he said, As righteousness tender to life, so he that pursue evil, pursue it to his own death. So any, when you see anyone who is extremely wicked, that means in those, those brother and sister, the spirit of death is inside. And they live really in the grave. Mm -hmm. So those who are misusing, who have tendency to misuse their tongue, the Bible say in Proverbs eighteen twenty one, it say what you say can means life or death. So those who speak with care will be rewarded, but those who speak and the way they speak to anyone, they don't care about what they say, they will be punished. And the Bible say that they are will take them to the grave. So they are considered dead long time ago. So when if you are speaking about 200 word by, word by second, before somebody say one word and you are already saying one, uh, 200 word, or when you open your mouth, it's only to, 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 to curse anyone. No, nothing positive come out from your mouth. Remember that the heaven at no leisure have declared long time ago that you are dead. And yet the power of the cross to resurrect you. So those who would also tell lies to anyone to get rich. According to Proverbs 21 verse 6, he say, Well, that come from telling lies vanish like a mist and lead to death. So those who always tell lies, to get money, taking life, they don't, they, they, they get their are, they are, they, they are riches from telling lie, 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 to catch people's riches. The heaven consider you not living, but as a dead. Don't be surprised all the time that you feel some bad smelling around you. Don't be surprised that everywhere you, when you go, you are rejected. Because you are dead and the heaven have already rejected you. You are living in the grave. Even though you go to work, even though you have five children, even though you have a very big business. So, and also the Bible, according to Romans chapter 8, verse 6, he said, For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So the Bible, according to this scripture, recognize those who are not spiritual as a dead people. So, be carnally minded is dead. 
Hallelujah. So the Bible say it also it recognize many people has been trapped, have been caged, have been captured by the graveyard spirit. As you see, you understand that there are too many around us that are completely dead, even though they, they are, their corpse is still alive. So, the Isaiah chapter 14, 9 to 11 said, The place of the dead is excited to meet you when you come. So, the grave himself is happy all the time to receive dead, 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 dead every day. And versus Isaiah chapter 14, verse 9, he said, The place of the dead is excited to meet you when you come. It wakes the spirit of the dead. The leader of the world. You may clear that the spirit of the dead is the leader of the world. The spirit of the world. It makes kings of all nations stand up from their throne to greet you. So when you are already dead, they receive you in the grave. They applaud. They clap at you. Because you are getting into the grave. Into the cemetery. All according to verse 10, all these leaders will make fun of you and will say, Now you are weak as we are. Now you are just like us. Your pride has been sent down to the place of the dead. The music from your harps goes with it. So when the enemy is would like to receive children of the law in the grave. And and when there's to so like that, when you are dead as we just go, they are happy and they are mocking. Now you are weak as we are. Now you are just like us, the sea of death, the sea of the of the dark kingdom. So and in in, in uh, verses verses eleven, Isaiah chapter uh, fourteen, verses eleven, he say, flies are spread out like uh, your bed beneath you, and worms cover your body like a blanket. So, please, he said flies here. That means if you would see that brother, sometimes you see a lot of mystic mice, a lot of fly, a fly in your room, a lot of fly around you, some, some, some smoke, some, 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 some bad smell, anything that is very nasty, anything that is, uh, 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 when something uh, 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 warms in the dream, flies. That that uh, most mo, fly that 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 are in uh, cockroach around uh, around around you even in the house where you are remember that you are the, the Lord is calling your attention that you are dead long time ago. So brother and sister, this is why we are talking today. You are you gonna pray again the prayer again. You gonna pray against the graveyard witch crash, the graveyard witch crash attack. So the graveyard witch can attack. These are the circumstances in which the, all our the, uh, the enemy use the soul of the dead to attack many people and subject them to the power of the darkness. They go in, they go into into the cemetery, into the cemetery with a stone, put on the cemetery and do some uh, some incantation. The grave, remember, the grave itself is a place of decay. The grave is is itself is the grave of Worms. The grave is the place of corruption. The place, the grace, the the grave, is a place where man, created from dust, mixed back with dust. It is a place of the dead. The grave has its own gate. Just like the hell has the gate of hell. I pray for you, my brother, my sister, that the gate. Of the grave will not receive you in the name of Jesus. Evil men, dark kingdom, are always interested in and attract many people to the grave because the greatest treasure on the earth. The grave himself is the earth, is the place where you see greatest treasure. Of many people that have been buried. Many things 
the enemy steal from so from people and bury it in the grave. Talent, brain, many people, their brain have been buried. Many dreams are unfulfilled because it, all those dreams, when you speak it, they bury it over there. Many unrealized desire are in on the on the grave. Many potential are dead and are in the grave, and so on and also on. It's in fact the the the, the grave, the earth, the inside the earth, is the richest place. Where, uh, uh, but many and many things is hidden there. When Satan is which cash, evil people want to terminate the life of a person, they go to the grave. They call the living through the gate of the grave. And now they go there to cause trouble for them. There are many agents of grave all around us now, and it is my brother that is unfortunate that they are doing a lot of havoc things with success. Let me tell you, brother, my sister, when a man is already caged, enslaved by the power of the grave, he is not able to fulfill his God-given mission in this life. Many individuals today are in prison, in the spiritual graveyard. This is why they face severe and persistent life issues that appear to defy resolution. Brother, today, sister, I want to tell you, give you the good news, is that God has declared he will have no sympathy for the power of the grave. This is why, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, from 55 to 57, he said, it is the cry of the prayer. He said, death, where is your victory? Death. Where is your pain? Death's power to hurt is sin. And the power of sin is the law. But we thank God. He gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So we give the time to the Lord because Jesus Christ was the only one who went to the grave and get out from the grave telling us that anything that you have been that have been buried in your in the grave for you your marriage your life everything concerning your life it can but the resurrection power of the lord jesus christ can receive life can get out and receive life lazarus went through the same so my brother my sister how can you know if you are under attack from the grave my brother, my sister, there are several methods to know whether you are being attacked by a symmetry or graveyard spirit. Which cash, which cash from the graveyard. If your family has a pattern of death or illness, don't ignore it. This is the power of the grave. It's not by chance that one two three or more members of a family die at the same age or from the same sickness it's the power of the grave because that family is buried and are in the grave again it is uncommon to constantly hear weird noises or imagine yourself conversing dining or mingling with anyone any disease disease family or friend when you see yourself talking danny conversing in the dream even you are saying in the physical like this remember that you are buried and that you are you are you, you are living in a cemetery if you get the sens sensation that an unseen person is following you around the street you may be suffering from extreme depression or have suicidal thought this is the power of the grave you are buried remember that again after dreams you may have uneasiness hot dread hot panic or rare element remember that the law is telling you that you are buried there may be 
a, a, a malevolent visit in which you perceive yourself being pulled down by hot and unseen forces, particularly once you are sleeping. Remember this, the attack from the witch crash in the grave. You may also notice a depthful odor of rotting around you, around you, that most people do not notice, but you feel it. Remember, the grave, as I said earlier, the grave is a place of decay. That means you are already dead and you are already decay, even though you are walking cops. In your dream, you could see arbitrary image of yourself. You could see coffee. You, you could see accidents. Or you could see people in grief crying for the funeral. Remember that you are under, on, you are living in the, in the grave. You are dead long time and you are buried long time and you need the resurrection power of the law. And of God, the Almighty has vowed to demolish the grave and all the wicked spirit that dwell within it. We have it as a, 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 a we are happy of that. So if you are being assaulted by graveyard, graveyard or ghost, I bring you excellent news of Jivana rescue today, brother and sister. The grave has been demolished and you are emerging with immense substance because you are hidden with Christ Jesus in God. The cemetery spirit, the graveyard spirit will not pull you down. Just as it is, just as it did not hold Jesus down. Remember that Jesus has the key to the, to the, uh, of the grave. He would use it to, to, to your advantage today. As you pray. In the same, in the same, <coughs> so by the same, by the same power in, in, in the blood of Zosa, I command that every attack of the cemetery spirit, attack from the graveyard, from the graveyard, against your life should be shattered to pieces today. So, brother and sister, to be, to, to be delivered from the power of the grave, you must surrender completely your life to the Lord. Accept to the Lord Jesus Christ. Accept him as your savior. You must have, you, you must also trust completely in him. Believing that he is, he is able to deliver you from a any graveyard spirit, any cemetery spirit affliction. Only then you will follow, you, the law will set you free. Maybe you have been experiencing problem of moving forward. You have been exp expressing, experiencing backward progress, poverty. Maybe your money has been swallowed by the, by the enemy. It seems as if some power have been deny you of your rightful position maybe good things are being silenced in your life and some power personality are cutting away the good things that are about to happen in your life or maybe you keep seeing death relative in your dream you must pray hardly today my sister my brother hallelujah if you have ever even been to the grave or to bury some somebody, and some uh, 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 some ritual have been done over there for any fe fetish purpose, or you have ever constructed a coffin for yourself or a miniature coffin, you have to pray very well today. So power again the the graveyard your spirit, the 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 the, 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 the graveyard which cash can only be on the, obtained under the canopy of the of Matthew 11 verse 12. Matthew 11 verse 12. He said, as from the day of the John Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence take it by force. Brother and sister, there are many Christian whose virtue have been stolen and buried. If such people will pray very violently, They will experience change from generation to generation. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Brother, this is, this, if you have been going through the same this situation and you are facing that, it's the time to pray it now. If you give your life to the Lord, confess your sin now according to 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If you confess your sin, he is, fear, he is, he is, he is faithful to cleanse you from all he will forgive you and faithful, he is faithful to, to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. From all iniquity. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Close your eye, my brother, my sister. Say aloud like me. Every graveyard power hunting for my destiny to hunt every graveyard power hunting for my destiny you are a liar therefore die in open shame in the name of Zosa. therefore die in open shame in the name of Zosa. die in open shame in the name of Zosa. die in open shame in the name of Zosa. die in open shame in the name of Zosa. in jesus martin i pray amen Hallelujah. Close your eye. If there's a way to lead, to lead, let a little bit the anointed oil on your head, your forehead, you do it and say like this. Power of the graveyard. Holding on to any power of my life. Power of the graveyard. Holding on to any part of my life. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. 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 Go ahead, say it. Close your eye. Marika Pokus, brother, do not stay quiet. Tapoko dia katata. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. It didn't observe. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Every connection between me, between my family, and graveyard spirit. Every connection between me, between my family, and graveyard spirits. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I command every injection of darkness pump into my blood to come out by fire in the name of Jesus. I command every injection of darkness. That have been pumped into my blood to come out by fire in the name of Jesus. I command every injection of darkness that have been pumped into my blood, into the blood of my children, to come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Every soul tied with graveyard spirits. Every soul tied with graveyard spirits. Every soul tied with graveyard spirits. 
Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Every evil wing blowing against me and my family from the graveyard. Every evil wing blowing against me and my family from the graveyard. Release me and die in the name of Jesus. Release me, my family, and die in the name of Jesus. Release me, my family, and die in the name of Jesus. Release me and my family and die in the name of Jesus. Every evil wing blowing against me and my family from the graveyard. Release me and my family and die in the name of Jesus. Release me and my family and die in the name of Jesus. Die, 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 die. Go ahead, insist. Close your eye as you say it. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Every sickness from the graveyard working against my life, working against my family, lose your hold upon my life, my family, in the name of Jesus. Every sickness from the graveyard working against me and my family. Lose your hold upon my life, my family, in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold upon my life, my family, in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold upon my life, my family, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I break. Every conscious and unconscious covenant with the dead. In the name of Jesus. I break every conscious and unconscious covenant with the dead. In the name of Jesus. I break every conscious and unconscious covenant with the dead. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I speak death unto every power from the grave. That I want me or any member of my family to die before our time. In the name of Jesus. I speak death unto every power from the grave that want me or any member of my family to die before the, 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 before our time in the name of Jesus. Say it. Close your eye. I speak death unto every power from the grave that want me or any member of my family to die before our time in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Go ahead now. You have to recover everything that have been all the good things, all the good things of your family that have been buried in the grave. Go ahead and say that this my virtue, the virtue of my family in the graveyard. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Say it. Say it. My brother, my sister, it's not time to keep quiet. Recover your marriage. Recover your finances that have been buried long time ago. My virtues are in the graveyard. The virtue of my, my family in the graveyard. Come Anna in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Every witch crash power. Going to the graveyard for my sake. For the sake of any member of my family. I curse your existence in the name of Jesus. I curse your existence in the name of Jesus. I curse your existence in the name of Jesus. I curse your existence in the name of Jesus. I curse your existence in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. <laughs> You're going to do now some prophetic action. You're going to do like you are pushing something. Put you, like you are pushing something so that it, something can fall in the grave. Do with your hand as you are pushing it to fall in the grave. As you are doing it with your hand. Say like this. I push the enemy inside the grave door for me and my family. In the name of Jesus. I push the enemy inside inside the grave door for me and my family in the name of Jesus. I push the enemy 
inside the grave, dug for me and my family in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Go ahead and do the same thing. Say it like this. The same action again. I push the enemy inside the coffin made for me and my family in the name of Jesus. I push the enemy inside the coffin made for me and my family in the name of Jesus. I push the enemy inside the coffin made for me and my family in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Go ahead and say that this. I close by fire. Every gate open against me and my family at the grave in the name of Jesus. I close by fire. Every gate open against me and my family at the grave in the name of Jesus. I close by fire. Every gate open against me and my family at the grave in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I silence every voice from the grave. Speak against my life and my family in the name of Jesus. I silence every voice from the grave. Speak against me and my family in the name of Jesus. I silence every voice from the grave. Speak against me and my family in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. This prayer is when sometimes you can see like this and you hear somebody call you are calling your name using the voice of somebody who is close to you and that you don't recognize yet clearly sometimes you answer but but you turn yourself you look at your brother or your sister close to you ask you ask him do you call me and your brother your ask your sister tell you i didn't call you remember brother and sister that voice that you were here and you were answering calling your name was the was the voice from the grave this is why you are saying that i silence every voice from the grave speaking against me and my family in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name, i pray amen power of the grave speaking against my life and my family be silenced by fire in the name of Jesus. Power of the grave. Speak against my life and my family. Be silenced by fire in the name of Jesus. Power of the grave. Speak against my life and my family. Be silenced by fire in the name of Jesus. Be silenced by fire in the name of Jesus. Power of the grave. Speak against my life and my family. They go at, at midnight. Calling your name. Call the name of any member of your family and curse you from the grave after me die. Power of the grave, speak against my life and my family. Be silent in the name of Jesus. Be silent in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I break any covenant between me and any dead relative in the name of Jesus. If you have even have in the dream you see anyone. That is already dead, but you see him again. I break any covenant between me and any dead relative in the name of Jesus. I break any covenant between my children, my family, and any dead relative in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I destroy every power contesting for my breakthroughs in the name of jesus i destroy every power contesting for my breakthroughs in the name of jesus i destroy every power contesting for my breakthroughs in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name i pray amen the word of god said in luke 24 verses 2 he said they found the stone roll away from the entrance of the tomb they found the stone roll away from the entrance of the tomb the tomb of jesus christ so this is the same stone that they are using in the night, in the midnight, to stop your life, uh, to stop your, your your testimony, to stop you from getting getting married, to stop your finance, to stop your health condition. Go ahead and close your eye, my brother and sister, Siladita. Every stone on my way of testimony, every stone on my way of testimony. Be rolled away by fire in the name of Jesus. Be rolled away by fire in the name of Jesus. Every stone on my way of testimony. Be rolled away by fire in the name of Jesus. Be rolled away by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Go ahead and say that this. 
my God shall arise and my pursuers shall scatter in the name of Jesus. My God shall arise and my pursuers shall scatter in the name of Jesus. My God shall arise and my pursuers shall scatter in the name of Jesus. My God shall arise and my pursuers shall scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I kill every storm and assign against my destiny in the name of Jesus. I kill every storm I assign against my destiny in the name of Jesus. I kill every storm I assign against my destiny in the name of Jesus. I kill every storm I assign against my destiny in the name of Jesus. Close your eye. I kill every storm I assign against my destiny in the name of Jesus. I kill every storm I assign against the destiny of my family, my marriage in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Close your eye and give thanks to the Lord by saying like this. Thank you, Lord. Because my debt is swallowed up in victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because my debt is swallowed up in victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because my debt, the debt of any member of my family, is swallowed up in victory. Is swallowed up in victory. Is swallowed up in victory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Go ahead and say, Thanks be to God. Which, which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ in the death of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Sir. I forbid any retaliation, any regarding, any regarding, any recruitment because of this prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus. Sir. In the name of Jesus. Sir. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The God that answer by fire. Let that God answer you by fire now in the name of Jesus. The God that answer by fire. Let that God answer you by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Brother and sister, go ahead and say, Blood of Jesus seven times. Blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.